Hi friends, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the basket master, and oh, and I've got Cindy on the bed with me here. She's, so if you hear noise, she's, she's wanted to be with me, so, all right, <laughs> she's going to watch you for a while. I've got a little basket here, my little seed basket I want to show you today, and this basket uses a 4x6 D handle, and it's just the right size for holding your little packets of seed here. Let's see how that just, just fits in there as nice as can be. And I want to take kind of deconstruct this, take it apart so you can see how it was put together. And it's got an open weave base, but take a look here, here's your D handle that comes down. And the D handle makes one of the spokes. So as you are weaving, hi, <laughs> as you're weaving the base, uh, you just put in a D handle just as if you would as if it were another stake. Then you upset the sides, continue weaving. I used a 3 8 inch flat reed for the first two rows. I like to do that just because 3 8 inch is just it's a little stronger uh, for a basket of this size and I use this basket and then from after I put in a couple rows that helps it to really go up nice and straight and then I go into a quarter inch flat oval is what I've got. And I did that for one, two, three, four rows. And from there, then I just started decreasing my weaving as I built up the front and the back here. And so I would just, I would only take the weaving um, from one stake to, instead of wrapping the weaving all the way around, I'd go from one stake to the other stake. And then on the next row, I'd, I'd go in a stake, so here to here. And then the next row up, I started here and went to the, the third stake over here. And then the, the next here to here. And then my final, just a very short piece of reed was woven there to there. And we'll take a look at the back side. So you can see. So instead of going all the way around the basket with my over under weaving, I just use short pieces to, to build up the front and the back of the basket. And then because it's sloped, what I did is on the inside, as I'm doing the rim, let me get a good shot of this, I actually used two, uh, well, I actually used uh, four pieces of reed. I used two on the inside and two on the outside because here I am using 3 8 inch flat oval. It's getting really heavy. It's hard to, to bend it into the shape that I wanted it to be a good shape. So I've actually I've used one piece on the outside here, a second piece on the outside on the side, a third piece on the inside here, and a fourth piece on the inside there. And then it has been lashed with 11 64 inch flat reed. So I've actually used four pieces for the rim of the basket. And then to finish it off, this is just a little doily. You can get these at Walmart or other places. And this is a little, um, oh, a little resin uh, decorative element that I found on clearance, probably Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and just used it to, to decorate my little seed basket. So there you have it, friends. It's a fun basket. You can use it for all kinds of things. This is a nice size. You could put um, a couple of, of coffee mugs in here. You could put a coffee mug and some, some coffee or teas. And, and anyways, it just ends up being a very nice size. Let's see here. It is approximately 4 inches by about 11 inches. And it was just the size I came up with. Uh, you could make it as large or as small as you want, but you are limited by the size of your D-handle. So if you wanted something that was wider, just get a larger D-handle. And then everything was stained, the D-handle along with the basket. All right, friends, thank you for watching. 
go over to my blog www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com and from there you can get tips of every sort when it comes to basket weaving. You can find it there on my blog. You can see step-by-step -step videos on my blog or here on YouTube that will take you step by step by step through the basket weaving process. I basically hold your hand and walk you through it. So, but this is something fun. You can use the, the steps that I've given you, change it around a little bit. It gives your basket a whole nother look. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.